what's up guys ek back back to back it's just easy for me when i have um and that needs to be done like quick as possible so one information new so here i go uh, we have a uh, windows oh, oh crazy russian putting diagrams <laughs> scary <laughs> don't worry about it so top top camera lzv output the power going to the track to this pro, uh, tester nice about this zimo tester it has a turn on and off button yeah so i'm just pressing just a little bit see it's it's very sensitive but that's what i like about it and different features anyway so if i press that button again the output is off i set up that button this way so plugging it back so if i need a program i need i don't have it my setup here i'm just unplugging this plug because this is power output j and k and this is p and q for the programmer that's what we're going to for the programming option uh, of command station so right now it's on everything's cool and we're going to windows and long time ago i did video years ago but i'll just refresh again this is double pole double throw switch or what's how you saying double throw double pole or whatever that's the idea so programming track we'll put it green going from p and q connections and put red or red and black and j and k from uh, main output okay so you can power we'll do maroon this section and also programming on it just switching that switch back and forth and actually you can run your locomotive if it's correct address but it will prevent programming the whole layout that's i, I like that uh, approach so pico alexander hello sir so we're clear on this right now we're still running cv editor it's connected because see this we can actually disconnect and reconnect all good i cannot in the in the programming mode like this because it's connects to the output uh, p and q i believe programming mode so i cannot uh, test the engine so I, I need to switch the plug or use that uh, diagram which is on my layout and another test layout as well but we're going to decoder setting and we'll do just complete read how it's working because cv editor should be working yes i if you can hear the decoder make a noise the motor actually motor of course and uh, yeah we got it address three and other parameters here I'm not really focusing on this, but it's it's very cool. Decoder extended setting. I never did it before, so if it's not gonna work, we'll see. <laughs> Read all. Hmm. I believe that decoder just not supporting that feature. Decoder manual programming, so I can read address CV1, address 3 and do the same with uh, like basic parameters but that's the the coolest part and again this decoder are you alone <laughs> yeah it's normal here because it's <laughs> seven, like 8 a.m uh eastern what we daytime <laughs> no worries people probably watch later yeah but it's better broadcast in the morning so if i'm going to identify decoder 
it's actually working in the so when it's reading CV. So again, I'm not focusing really on uh, actually n n no read version version twelve. That maybe tells me the how old. Um, um, but again, this is for a story for another day. But that's what is going on with that decoder, right? So all parameters here. Version an ID, which is cool, manufacturer, all all clear. And um, if I'm going to decoder manual programming, yes, we did this with its setup. Right, and um, the decoder extended information. My understanding right now, it's not. There is no documentation so far. Correct me if I'm making mistake, but I don't think so. It's uh, the, it's ready for like this special decoder very old again. So we'll just go in ba basic again, extended information. I saw it someplace else. Yes, when I identify decoder, here we go. Here, yes, so. Um, suitable updates there is none but in the folder of that lens cv editor uh, database there are some updates for probably newer decoder also with this you can do lh101 which is i don't have lh01 101 update um, the driver for that throttle and driver for lh101 which, which is probably coming because the latest I, I have um, at this point. So that's how it's supposed to be working. Again, we are on version four with of the command station. If you on 3.8, none of the those features, I believe, is really working. Okay? So finger crossed. <laughs> I hope Lens will be more clear about what they're doing with update. Um, and as soon as more information coming, I will definitely um, give you guys update with a new video. Next video will be uh, about how I'm connecting. I will show it to you. How I'm connecting this TCS throttle. UWT100. <laughs> Try to remember. Yeah, this wireless, great wireless throttle with GMRI to this command station. Thanks for watching, guys. Supporting business. If you would like support channel, we have like button uh, join membership under every single video. Have a good one. Bye bye.